hello welcome to this video on finding the bounds of adding values okay all right so let's read this question together we will find the bounds on adding values of the matrix a okay so this is our matrix a okay this is our matrix okay all right so we are supposed to find the bounds on this matrix okay using one get going theorem bravo theorem and both okay so how do we go about it okay so all right let's start so with the first one the guess going theorem okay um guess going theorem so with the guess going theorem he's saying that all right so we are supposed to let's go and check use guess going theorem okay all right so with the guess going theorem he's saying that the adding values okay the bounds of the adding values is in such a way that for all the adding values okay the absolute of them okay let me write it down down this matrix okay the absolute of them okay is always less than or equal to the maximum sum of the absolute of all the entries along the rules okay and this is what i mean let me erase this and write it well for you to understand okay all right so with the guess going first you look at row one okay then you find you find all the sum of the maximum the sum of the elements there okay so we wonder is what we do find summation of absolute of r1 meaning all the elements in the row one and the absolute the sum of the absolute words so absolute of one plus absolute of one plus absolute of negative one okay and this will give me what three so the first sum is what three then you go to row two okay you get summation of rule two but here we are dealing with what the absolute so you should be called to absolute of three plus absolute of two plus absolute of what four and this will give me what three plus two which is five plus four which is what nine okay and rule three okay summation of the absolute of rule three what this summation means is just the elements in row three okay and this is equal to absolute of negative one plus absolute of four plus absolute of two and this should give me what one plus four which is five plus two which is seven so guys is saying that for the rows you pick the largest sum and the largest sum is what the nine okay so the first thing is that the bounds of the adding values along rows is such that absolute of the adding values is always less than or equal to the largest sum along rows and that is nine okay so you go and check and do the same for the columns okay all right so let's go to the columns um, with the columns we we'll do the same thing okay we we'll do the same thing and this time this is how you go so column one okay c1 implies that summation of what absolute of c1 okay and this will be equal to absolute of one plus absolute of what three plus absolute of negative one and that will give us what one plus three which is four plus one that is five now we see two i don't have to write the rest i know you'll be able to do that c2 and that will be what one plus two okay which is three plus four which is seven then c3 okay summation of absolute of c3 and that will be one plus negative absolute of negative one is one so one plus four which is five plus two which is what seven so the absolute sum or the largest sum along the column is what also giving us what 
um, that is also less than or equal to seven that's the largest sum along the column okay so with this two conditions okay guess going is saying that the bounds of the adding values is then given by okay the bounds of the adding values is then given by the intersection of these two okay okay let me write this first before you can see the intersection all right really absolute of this less than equal to nine this implies that from inequalities this is same as negative nine less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to nine okay so in other words we are dealing with the close interval okay negative nine comma nine so it means lambda is inside this okay meaning let me write it well for you so you can see lambda belongs to this okay you can see the lambda actually belongs to this for the first one now with the second one absolute of lambda less than or equal to seven implies that we have negative seven less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to seven okay this this means that lambda also belongs to what the close interval negative seven comma seven now the intersection of these two okay if you, if you are find the intersection of these two okay let me write it well for you to see clearly okay so like i said i'm coming to write everything in terms of interval so that you understand quickly okay so when i come here this is the same as what negative nine comma nine you are saying lambda belongs to that sorry lambda belongs to this here lambda belongs to it negative seven comma seven okay so now with this the intersection of these two you can see that this is actually this one okay the second part is actually inside the first part so it means the bounds on adding values okay from guess going is actually this negative nine okay negative nine okay comma nine intersection negative seven comma seven and this will give me what negative seven comma seven and this negative seven comma seven is as a result of this one okay so the bounds on this adding value of this matrix by guess going is actually equal to less than or equal to seven okay so this is the bounds for this matrix by guess going okay i hope you understood this so it's very simple like that let's go to the one with the browsers okay so with browsers method okay browsers method he is saying that if i pick the the this in diagonal elements okay and i subtract them from the um, adding values okay then the sum of the remaining elements along the rows okay that magnitude of the difference let me write it so that you understand okay so this is what it means first row along row one okay so I go to row one then through row one this is what Barris is saying if i pick the adding values then i subtract the first diagonal element which is one then the magnitude of it should be less than or equal to the sum of the magnitudes of all the elements along with one so i come to this element one and negative one i sum them by finding the odds the magnitude of it so magnitude of one is one plus magnitude of negative one which is also one and so it's like absolute of one plus absolute of negative one that will give me what two this is the first bound for browsing in row one then go to row two okay then lambda minus two we are, we are dealing with the diagonal elements okay so less than or equal to now the remaining elements are three and four okay so the sum of these two their absolute of them will give me what seven i come to row three now the this thing is minus lambda minus what two again and this is less than or equal to what the absolute of this plus absolute of that sorry sorry 
at the root of this rather okay so that will be what five that is for rows okay but but let's look at this clearly okay there are some of the elements here which are or some of the this, these bounds okay some of them are found inside others okay so what you do is that after finding for um the first the rows okay then you find the union of all the rows okay now this implies that this if i want to write any quality of this this is the same as negative 2 less than or equal to lambda minus 1 less than or equal to 2 okay this is how you write it i erase and write a proper one but i just want to show you how to do it okay so negative 7 less than or equal to lambda minus 2 less than or equal to 7 so obviously i know you can write this it's negative 5 less than or equal to lambda minus 2 less than or equal to 5 okay so now with a proper notation let's write them okay i hope you can see if if um i have negative 2 less than or equal to lambda minus 1 less than or equal to 2 and i can add both side 1 1 so that the middle part where i'm having the middle part where i'm where i'm having lambda minus 1 will go and i'll get lambda okay so this is what i mean this part is supposed to be go it's supposed to go then i add one to both sides okay i hope you get it so i'm coming to write it clearly so with this we get negative two plus one which was negative one less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to what three because it becomes two plus one now this one negative seven then plus two so you can negative five okay less than or equal to lambda then seven plus two less than or equal to nine okay i have this one negative five plus two and that will be what negative three less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to what how do you get two plus five is what seven so we find a union of all these okay the union of all these so it's like the first interval is what this negative one three then union the second interval negative five comma nine okay then union negative three comma seven okay if you see that clearly negative one comma three is inside any of these it's actually obviously inside all of these now if, now if i find the union of all of these i'll get something like what negative 5 comma 9 because it's the largest interval you can get okay so this is the correct for the rows so this is the solution for only the rows so you keep this okay and this negative 5 comma 9 is actually from where this part okay row 2 so don't forget it okay so along the rows this is what we are having for the rows okay so let's erase quickly and write for the rows the final answer that is the union for all the rules okay oh, oh. let's let's erase quickly so we had negative five comma which one comma nine okay and this is we said it's from what row two okay all right so we had the along rows okay the solution was what the answer was um negative five less than or equal to what lambda less than or equal to nine and that was from row two and you see row two is what lambda minus two okay less than or equal to seven i hope you can see that so this is the solution we had for the rows now along columns so column one this implies that i have the first diagonal element so it's lambda minus one less than or equal to the sum of the remaining elements in column one the magnitude of this so with three and negative one so absolute of three plus absolute of negative one which give me what four c2 implies that we have this minus two then less than or equal to 
the elements here this one and this four okay so absolute of one plus absolute of four which is five now we see three is giving us what absolute of what negative this minus two okay less than equal to absolute of what this and this four okay and the same thing we are getting the same thing to be what five so this and this they are the same so they are union we pick one okay so the union of this will pick one okay but this will give us what using the inequality this will give us negative four less than or equal to what lambda minus one less than or equal to four in other words we get negative four plus one okay so you get negative three less than or equal to lambda less than or equal to five and any of these will give us what negative five plus two which was negative three less than or equal to what lambda then less than or equal to seven so you find a union of this okay now the union of these two is like negative three comma five okay union negative three comma seven okay and this will give us what only this and that is lambda minus two okay less than or equal to five okay so now with this with this the intersection this is the solution for what the column Co along the, the union of all the columns will give me only this okay so let me erase and write it properly okay all right so with this after getting for the columns and the rows you f just find the intersection of them and that will be your solution okay okay i hope i hope you get it so is this lambda minus two okay less than equal to five for the columns okay so now after getting this then you are seeing the intersection of them so with the rows is like this minus five comma nine intersection the column is what this one will get negative three comma hot seven all right so their intersection will be actually equal to negative three comma what the seven okay i hope you get it this will be negative three comma seven because this is actually inside this okay and now this solution will be what lambda minus two okay less than equal to five that is for only the browse method okay i hope you understand it now the last part is saying that we should use both browsers and get going to find the bounds of the adjacent values of this matrix okay so let's go to the last part so using both okay what you do is that you go to the first one where we had this answer okay you go and pick it so you go absolute of lambda less than equal to seven then you find the intersection of that with the last and the browsers okay so using the both this is what you do you do for the first one then you find a second one that is you do for guess going do for browsers and find the intersection okay intersection absolute of this less than equal to five okay i hope this is what we had now this is the same as we said is negative seven comma seven okay intersection now this gave us what the second one gave us negative three comma seven okay negative three comma seven and now what will be the answer you could see that sorry sorry you could see that negative three comma seven is inside negative seven comma seven okay i hope you get it so the final answer will be what negative three comma seven and this is the same as what this part okay lambda minus two less than or equal to five so this is the solution for finding the bounds of the adding values of a matrix using get going browse and sometimes using both okay thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel